everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and this is the Asus Direct CU2 Top GeForce GTX 650Ti video card. And if you're familiar with the Direct CU2 line from Asus, the top version is the highest factory overclocked version that they produce. And uh, this one in particular it comes factory overclocked to 10 uh, 33 megahertz or 1000. 33 megahertz from the reference 925 megahertz uh, core clock. That uh, is a considerable jump. It basically is over a gigahertz. And inside the box here, find premium packaging. Of course, you'll find the documentation. There's not much in terms of accessory in this uh, package. Is actually a driver and GP tweakability CD and the setup guide. And also, it is a multilingual setup guide. And continue on. Packaging here, of course, is the card itself. Make sure that there's nothing inside. First thing to notice, of course, is that the GeForce GTX 650 Ti DirectCU 2 top is considerably larger compared to other video cards. And uh, in fact, it uh, measures around 275 millimeters long. And let me just grab something here to compare it with. I have here the longest video card currently available is the Radeon HD 6990 and as you can see in terms of length it is almost there uh, this is 300 uh, millimeters long but uh, almost a foot long actually it is a foot long and uh, here at this just a little bit shy of that length and uh, let me just move this around and if you look closely here at uh, the cooling solution is unique in that it actually uh, the PCB actually stops there and there's a bit of overhang so it essentially acts as a cooler for your memory when uh, it is running you can see there's uh, uh, room for the air to just go out there and it has also a custom PCB actually the reference PCB is only uh, actually uh, only up to here in terms of length so this is around 1.9 times as long as the regular GTX 650 Ti uh, video card and start with the features here you have a six pin power connector on the left side and it's actually backwards uh, unlike other video cards seen there that uh, it is plugged in from the the uh, latches on the top and here at the rear you have your connectors you have your full size HDMI you have your DVI connectors and you have your VGA connector that is why there is no uh, uh, accessory uh, included and there's no adapters included is because they already have a full size HDMI and a uh, VGA connector that's built into here so you can connect four HD displays automatically well not automatically but uh, directly on the video card uh, itself instead of using adapters as with uh, like with other cards of course it supports 2D surround and uh, here we have the PCIe 3.0 connector and closely here there's no SLI connectors there's no SLI capability on the GTX 650Ti and uh, of course to prevent the PCB from buying down over a long period of time Asus adds this uh, long metal spine as you can see in there it extends the length of that side so that uh, there's a lot more protection uh, for the contacts on the um, PCB itself and uh, what you should do now is take a closer look I'm going to remove the direct CO2 heatsink let's see what's underneath and also take a look at the components on the PCB all right so now here we have lifted the direct CO2 cooler to reveal of course that the um, there is no integrated heatsink on the GK106 core and it is a GK106 core meaning it is similar to the uh, GTX 660 
uh, TI, rather, GTX 660 rather than the GTX 650, which uses a GK107 core, which is a lot more truncated and performs a lot less. As you can see here, you have four Hynix memory chips and also a four phase uh, PWM design. Of course, uh, the, the uh, use high quality components in here. Uh, as you saw, they have uh, from uh, if you've seen the Asus motherboards, they use similar uh, the old DGG Plus VRM technology with uh, super alloy power that they use for their uh, other video cards uh, we have re reviewed uh, before. Also, you can see that the cooling solution has these three heat pipes, which are flattened and directly in contact with the GPU core. So uh, it is all. Uh, basically uh, transfers the heat to these heat pipes and then to these aluminum fins that's why they they even if the fan is not blowing on the PCB it it's cooling the core because it's cooling the fins that extend from the middle and also see that a fan is a PWM design meaning it is a lot uh, more accurate in terms of step controlling the uh, the temp the uh, fan speed so that uh, it doesn't just immediately ramp up or immediately down uh, ramp down uh, is a lot more fluid in terms of that and that pretty much covers the overview of the Asus GTX 650Ti Direct CU2 video card thing we should do now put it back and uh, test out how well this video card performs compared to other uh, the reference rather GTX 650Ti and uh, also GTX 660 and the GTX 560 and the previous generation GTX 550Ti as well as of course the competing AMD Radeon HD 7770GHz edition within the same price range. Thanks for watching and see you next time.